Hey guys, today is going to be a little bit more for my photographer friends. I wanted to share a few of the things that I have found have helped me organize myself or my business a little bit more. So the first thing I want to talk about is something that just makes organizing very easy for me physically. I got a $30 kind of rolling cart from Michaels that has three tiers and within those tiers I bought no, I didn't buy, I found, but you could buy some clear utensil organizers. I use these to pretty much hold everything that they are willing to hold and then I use little baskets and bins to kind of fill in the blanks. But by using organizers within an organizing unit like the cart, I can keep things like my camera batteries and my external hard drives separate so that when I need to run in and pack my camera bag, I know exactly where my batteries are going to be. I know exactly where my external hard drive that I need to download my photos are. So I love having this cart. It was on sale when I got it. You definitely keep your eyes peeled or use a coupon. And then go a step further and think about how can you separate things even more. So for me, one tier is all photography equipment, one is all computer things, wires, and then the other one is kind of the day-to-day -day office stuff like pens and pencils post-its, etc. Another thing that, um, I, honestly, I should probably look to see if these are even still in business and still sold is a camera bag insert that I use when I don't want to bring a full camera bag. Sometimes I'm just traveling with my camera um, and a spare battery. Even if it's my camera and two lenses, I don't always need my full bag, but I do need something protective. So. I have this. I got it a couple Christmases ago. It's from the brand Ona, Ona, Ana, O-N-A, and it's their bag insert. It is filled with batteries. Classic. Just something that would hold one camera and one lens. And it's padded. So I can slip this into a tote bag or a purse if I'm traveling with my camera but I don't want to look like I'm traveling with my camera so usually I'll grab this if I'm going to like a friend's picnic or maybe I'm going out somewhere a little bit more social and I want to have my camera um, but I don't want to have my full shoulder bag or I don't want my full backpack which are usually what I carry on a wedding day or for a family session so if you're looking for a way to grab your camera out and about Look for something like the Ona bag insert and the world is your oyster. I think every photographer has their favorite external hard drive setup. Um, at least that's how it feels to me. And I have dedicated much of my finances to Lissy external hard drives. Early in 2021, somehow I kept dropping my external hard drive, which when you are a photographer and all of your photo, photo files are on your external hard drive is soul crushing. So after the second drop, I said, that's it. I need something a little bit tougher. Um, so I looked these suckers up and I made the jump. I use two at a time because I think backing up is very important. So I will have one that I'll label as travel and one that I label as backup. And the travel one is what I will take around with me, it's in my bag, it's in my laptop sleeve, and the backup stays here. Let's talk about where the backup stays. This is my fireproof safe. Um, I'm not necessarily using it for the safe lock and key. In this aspect, I do have one where I do use it for that, which has all of my important documents, all of our passports, birth certificates, the good stuff. I bought a second one specifically for my business and mostly it is housing my external hard drives. I have not experienced a fire anywhere I have lived. I did have a family members experience a fire and they lost basically everything which is why my family now has fireproof safes and I don't, it just feels really important to protect my files as much as possible. So for me external hard drives sitting in a fireproof safe, important. Might sound excessive but to me it's really important. And that box cost me $25 for peace of mind. So I definitely recommend investing in one of those. Last few things I wanna share are just three gadgets that I have found been, have been really handy for me. The first one is um, a card reader that reads 
CF Express and SD card. Uh, I recently went mirrorless, which means I now have something that takes CF Express cards and whose computer slash laptop has that card slot. Um, so I grabbed this from the good old internet. It's from Prograde. It has a magnetic piece to it, so when it's hooked to your computer, you can actually get it to stay still. You don't. It's not going to fall like that external hard drive would do to me all the time. They probably could have used a magnet. Um, just a really handy thing. It was very easy to use, very user friendly, so I recommend it. If you are someone who shoots a lot of sessions at the same time or you're editing a couple different cues, um, my workflow, I don't erase SD cards until the session is delivered. So I needed something to organize that a little bit better in. And I definitely took this hack from somebody else in the photography world. But craft bead organizers hold SD cards really well. So any session that I am still actively editing lives in one of these slots. They're individual, the one that I bought. I got this at Michael's for like $3. So you just need a trip to Michael's. There's really nothing to it. They're individual slots. And then... Um, during a really busy season, if I have a lot of sessions that I'm kind of working on, like when I'm second shooting and I might not edit photos right away from a wedding because I have to wait anyways, or the photographer has written in their contract that I need to keep the cards for a certain period of time, I'll add a little post-it and just like put the name of the wedding so that I know what's where. So $3 and you will feel so much more organized going into your busy season. All right, and the last piece, it's the brutal truth that as photographers, we some, for some reason need to have really great Instagram reels and video game. Um, behind the scenes are becoming more and more important because short form and long form video are becoming more and more important. I got this off of Amazon, like most things these days, and it is actually something that attaches to your flash hot shoe mount. So if you're not using your flash, you can put this on your camera and it goes both directions. So you can get both vertical and horizontal video of behind the scenes. So I have thrown this on during like styled shoots so that I can record video of a pose or a prompt that we gave and then I can put it next to the photo that I took. So if you're someone who doesn't have an assistant taking some behind the scenes shot for you or your spouse is not always there to uh, be the uh, Instagram husband, this is that for you. So it just attaches hot shoe mount to your camera and then you can use your cell phone to record video while you are taking photos. Um, the one thing I will note is you're probably gonna hear the shutter of your camera because it's so close to it. So you might not be able to use any sound from the videos you shoot, but you will be able to use the video, which in this day and age is what you need. So there you go. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, eight, nine. I've lost count. But a couple of different things that I have found that have been very useful for me as I've been building my photography business over the past year and a half. And if any of these things kind of piqued your interest, I will link what I can below so you can just go ahead and add them to your arsenal. Thanks so much for watching another video with me. Who knows what next week is going to be. Um, but I have a great time shooting these and have loved being able to share some of my knowledge and my experience with all of y'all.